Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti. It is a beautiful afternoon on Martin Luther King Day. We have 11 races to look at. Let's go up to Pete Aiello with those track and weather conditions. An 11 race program amidst beautiful weather conditions for horse racing. We're back on the green stuff here this afternoon as the turf course is firm. The main track is fast, a nice carryover in the Rainbow Six. First of the day over the turf at five furlongs. Claimers in for $16,000. Scratch the eight and the 11. The favorite was the 10. Awesome roar. Racing at Gulfstream. From the outside, Awesome Roar begins well and goes looking for the lead. Up to challenge is True Eris, and the two favorites hook up one too early. Down at the inside, that's Proud Legacy from third. She's two lengths off the embattled duo. Outside of her and Majestic Mayara moves closer. Saving ground at the inside, Vibrant Spirit with Silent Sophia, and Not Nice is stuck three wide. As they move into that far turn, four wide there is Happy River, and Special Consideration is at the back, and now checking the last is Vibrant Spirit. Around the far turn they go. True Eris holds the inside edge right alongside is the big favorite awesome roar they're separated by an, only a neck and third is majestic myara proud legacy is next happy river is wide on the course with a quarter of a mile left to go awesome roar comes off the turn with the lead now asked to kick on by irat ortiz jr and moving away by two and a half up into second is majestic myara not nice down the stand side true eris is backed away splitting horses silent sophia in deep stretch awesome roar is a popular winner of the monday opener she won by three and a half Majestic Mayara was second, closer for third. Silent Sophia photos with Not Nice in 56 flat. Monday starts on a popular note as number 10, Awesome Roar, is too fast and too classy for the first race competition, winning easily under jockey Irad Ortiz Jr. for Jason Service in the Waterford Stable. Second, number six, Majestic Mayara, and third was the two, Silent Sophia. We turn to the second race, start of the early pick four, made in claimers in for 12,500. Scratch the four, black canvas. Favorite was the seven, Faith Flies Again. And they're off. From between horses, Go Girl Gone heads off for the early lead, but is quickly reined back by Sanchez. Taking over the lead is Collectora. Faith Flies Again moves into second ahead of Go Girl Gone, who's a joint third alongside Moonha. A gap of another two to My Temple, and the trailer is Salsa Queen. Long shot Collectora and Leonel Reyes have made the top. They lead three parts of a length. On the outside, Faith Flies Again is the nearest pursuer second, Moonha third, while three wide. Back at the inside and Go Girl Gone. Then Salsa Queen and My Temple. Around the far turn they go. Three wide thrust from Monha. Now to challenge for the top. That sends Vasquez into action on Faith Flies again, and she's now up for a narrow lead. Back to third and Collector. Two better than Go Girl Gone. Three front in front of Salsa Queen. My Temple is last as they run to the top of the stretch. There's a quarter of a mile left to go. From the inside, and Faith Flies again. Tries to put away the challenge of Monha. Back for Morris Collector inside, and they're at the top of the stretch. Less than a quarter of a mile to go. Monha on the outside. Faith Flies again. Fights on toward the inside, and she has a kick a bit, and Faith Flies again now extends to a length lead. Monha on the outside can't get her at the 16th pole as Faith Flies again is still there. Faith Flies again. Favorites two for two today, and she wins by a length and a quarter. Monha second, Collector third, closer for fourth, Salsa Queen, or Go Girl gone in 114-1. and one. Number seven, Faith Flies Again, finally finds the right field as she drops in class and gets the victory as the odds-on favorite the jockey Miguel Vasquez for Jenna Antonucci in the Gallo Stable. A Washington bred by Attaboy Roy, Faith Flies Again, completes a very chalky early daily double. We'll be right back. One of the world's most anticipated thoroughbred racing events of the year returns. The third annual Pegasus World Cup Invitational at Gulfstream Park in South Florida. Drawing competition from around the world with a $16 million purse split between two grade one races. On the dirt and on the turf. Experience the incredible fashion, spectacular world-class service and entertainment. the unrivaled adrenaline of the Pegasus World Cup Invitational. Saturday, January 26th at Gulfstream Park. Get your tickets now at PegasusWorldCup.com.
Back now for the third race of the afternoon at five and a half furlongs. Claimer is in for $6,250. Scratch the two and three, a field of five. All kinds of money for all kinds of rivals. This was a wide open betting race. And they're off. Picture perfect beginning. They all broke as one. Good start for first goal, who's heading off for the early lead from Oh My Warrior on the outside second, back to third Visionary Ruler. Tucked in fourth is Spirit Love, and the early trailer is Silver Defense. Down the back stretch they go, and it's Lionel Reyes in first goal in front by a half a length. On the outside, Oh My Warrior tries to keep up while second Spirit Love needs a place to work. He's third at the inside. Veteran Visionary Ruler is fourth and two lengths off the lead. As Spirit Love is in very tight, trying to get out from behind the speed, the trailer is Silver Defense. All five within two and a half lengths as Silver Defense launches a four wide bid, and first goal tries to hold on with the advantage. It's first goal trying to get some place to work for about three eighths of a mile has been Spirit Love, who's now tipped into the two path outside and visionary ruler as they wheel in with the advantage it's first goal by a length and a half spirit love is going to take his shot from second down the center and visionary ruler with oh my warrior 16th to go spirit love surging at first goal spirit love for a narrow lead first goal is game but spirit loves a winner it's spirit love in front very close for second between first goal or oh my warrior visionary ruler finished fourth in 104 and one Number five, Spirit Love, appeared to be in pretty good form going into his last race. He didn't fire very well in that last race, but he fired big time today under a heads-up ride from Romero Mirage. He was tugging behind horses, but he got into the clear and got up for the victory at 9-2 here for Aubrey Mirage and owners of Riccio and Jacobson and Ray Don Inc. We move to the fourth race of the afternoon at six furlongs. Starter allowance optional claiming horses in for 50000 Scratch number two, Gabrielle Elizabeth. Favorite was the seven, Breaking Bread. And they're off. Check to last the two Nancys. Good start for Heaven's Humor and Rachette for the top at the inside in Faith and Hope. The big favorite Breaking Bread comes away on the outside and is now a joint second. Back to last are the Barrage trainees, Worth Avenue, and the two Nancys. They speed to the half-mile point, and the advantage belongs to Rachette and Paco Lopez in front by a length. On the outside, Breaking Bread is in the two-path racing in second, three better than third running the two Nancys. At the inside in Heaven's Humor, followed by Worth Avenue, and the trailer is Faith and Hope. 22 and 4 for a quarter speed, three furlongs left to go. Luis Saez and Breaking Bread bit up alongside of Rashad at the 5 16th. Now three lengths ahead of a third running Heaven's Humor. Wide on the course is Worth Avenue with the two Nancys and still at the back, Faith and Hope. Less than a quarter of a mile left to go. Breaking Bread with her ears up covers a half mile and 46 seconds flat. Wheels for home on a clear advantage. Rashad is still there, second toward the outside in Worth Avenue with an eighth of a mile to go. Luis Saez and the favorite Breaking Bread still strong and still well clear. Up on the outside, Worth Avenue is going to peg Rachette for second, but the winner is Breaking Bread. Breaking Bread by five in the end. Worth Avenue up for second. Rachette was third. Evans Humor finished fourth. Favorites start three for four on the Monday program in South Florida as odds on favorite Breaking Bread delivers under Luis Saez for trainer Jorge Navarro and owners Glenn Ellis and the Imaginary Stable. It was six, Worth Avenue, who got up for second ahead of the three Rachette, ran third. We move now to the fifth race of the afternoon. This was the West Point Thoroughbreds race of the day. On turf at one mile, allowance runners with a field of 11 as you scratch the 12, 13, and 14. Favorite was the one, Munchkin Money. And they're up. Far outside, Jimmy Bags begins well from the center. Riverside Walk is up to challenge. Splitting horses is Kerlock now on the... Far outside, it's Jimmy Bags trying to avoid being caught wide with a great time just to his inside in the charge to the first turn. Emerging on top is Transaction Tax and Leparu to lead the way by a length. Kerlock is second, a great time is third. Back to fourth is Riverside Walk, then Jimmy Bags. In between horses and taking stronghold is Coffee Crush, racing about four lengths behind. Another two and a half to the favorite Munchkin Money ahead of No Trespassing, who's next toward the rail. It's a length back to Focus, who's a gap of another three lengths to second last run running Fila, and then it's a big margin, maybe six or seven to One Direction song, who's last of all. They move down the backstretch after the opening quarter and an opening half mile, and they swing to the far turn. Kerluck from between horses, a great time, three wide, transaction taxes had enough. Riverside Walk trying to keep her spot on the two path. Jimmy Bags is four wide, Coffee Crush is three wide. Here's the favorite getting underway, Munchkin Money and Castellano launching a bit on the outside within four lengths of the top. Trying to run home from the back is Long 
Shot Rivers are uh, focused uh, with no trespassing as they run to the top of the stretch. Kerluck still has the lead, but the big favorite Munchkin Money comes to call on the outside second. River Sidewalk is next from the back. Here's the rush coming from Focused. Three sixteenths to go. Munchkin Money by two and a half. Feel Fibba now in full stride down the center, and she's up into second. Sixteenth to go. Munchkin Money by three. Phil Fibba is up into second, but time has run out to get Munchkin Money, who's a two-length winner. Phil Fella was second, third was focused, and fourth Riverside Walk, then One Direction Song in 139 flat. Number one, Munchkin Money gets the job done, completing four out of five winning favorites to start the program. This one handled by Javier Castellano for Brian Lynch and the Newport Stable. Second, number nine, Phil Fella, and, and third was number six, focused. Early pick five today with those form for results, just less than $40. Time for a commercial break. The Rainbow Six is on the other side of this timeout. Don't go away. And Go Zipper is pulling away. Go Zipper blows them away with an eye opening performance. Odds of again has won. Go Zipper kicking clear. Johnny the Beauty. Back now for race number six on the program, the start of the Rainbow Six today, made in claimers at six furlongs, in for $25,000. Rider change on two, Papa's little girl, make it Paco Lopez. Field of 11, this was a wide open betting race. And they're off. Missing the start was Miss Antonella, four lengths last. Good start from Marina View from the rail on with God is showing speed. In between horses, Papa's little girl with Alyssa's secret not far away. Far outside and don't lose hope. It's a real battle for the early lead. Mid-flight early is proper manners and on her outside, Sassy Lassie. Hot Saki is down toward the inside, racing two and a half in front of Hot Fudge Honey. At the back are Lady Kim and the subpar starter, Miss Antonella. 22 and three for a quarter speed. Around the far turn they go. The battle up front is down to two. In the two path, Alyssa's secret by ahead. Right back at her is on with God from second. Three wide, don't lose hope third. Back to fourth and Papa's low girl. Three better than Marina View, who's called it a day. Trying to rally from the back is Hot Fudge Honey as they run past the quarter mile pole. With the advantage, on with God and Luis is in front to the attack one more time Alyssa's secret into the clear Papa's low girl is next followed by hot fudge honey in the wrap at top of the stretch 46 and two for a half mile there's an eighth of a mile to go on with God by two and a half Alyssa's secret is still second toward the outside Papa's low girl is third but as they come home for the finish on with God and Luis Saez will win it on with God by two and a half Alyssa's secret was second Papa's low girl third and then don't lose hope in 112 and three Nine to two winner to kick off the Rainbow Six as it's Luis Saez riding for Kathleen O'Connell and one on with God who turns away all challenges, getting the maiden diploma for Darsan Inc. Second number four, Alyssa's Secret, who was one of the pace partners ahead of the two Papa's Little Girl, ran third. We move now to the seventh race of the day on turf at one mile, start of the late pick five. Maidens of the three-year-old Philly variety scratch the alternates 13 through 15 a field of 12. This was a wide open betting race. And they're off. From the center, Mystical Gal began nicely. Up on the outside, there goes Serenista and Honolua Bay. And the two outside horses quick enough to get over in the charge to the first turn. Away in third is Annie Go Lightly. Then in her inside is Army of One, followed by Macabre, then Bossy Madams, who's in the two path, and about two and a half lengths off the lead. Following that is Summer in Saratoga, and Queen Brunette is along the inside, drop better than seven lengths off the pace center. It's a length back to Chasing Helicity, who races inside of Magic River. Another two and a half lengths, second last early is Midnight Party, and then the early trailer here is uh, at the back of the field, Bob, is...
Army of One. They run to the back stretch, and with the advantage, it's Serenista by a length and a half. Honolulu Bay is second. Army of One is now third. Any Go Lightly races from fourth. Macab is fifth. Sixth is Bossy Madam. Seventh at the inside is Queen Brunette. Back to eighth is Chasing Helicity. Three wide ninth is the favorite summer in Saratoga. Then back to Magic River ahead of Midnight Party, and Mystical Gal is last. They make their way now to the far turn run. The opening half mile was clocked in 50 seconds flat after a 23 and three quarter speed. It's Sarah Nista at a big price in front by a length. Honolulu Bay second, Any Go Lightly is third. Looking for racing room fourth is Army of One. Blue Silks three off the pace. Summer in Saratoga, the favorite is fifth. Back to sixth and needing to quicken is Bossy Madam. Trying to run home from the back are Macabre and out wide is Magic River as they wheel in. Sarah Nista gives them something to think about at 50 to one and leads the way by two. Here's Army of One and Jose Ortiz to take a shot from second. Army of One tries to track down Serenista. Serenista trying to get home. Army of One going to make it very close. Army of One surging. It's a photo finish. Army of One on the outside. Serenista on the inside in 139 flat. Well, the morning line favorite Army of One was not the off-time favorite, sent off at 5-1, to one, but she gets the job done a long in time under jockey Jose Ortiz for Rodolph Brissett at Magic Cap Stable. How about 11, Sarah Nistat, 50-1 to one to be second in a huge try ahead of number two, Macab, who ran third. To the eighth race now on the start of the late pick four at a mile and a 16th on turf. Starter allowance, optional claiming event, price tag here was $50,000. Scratch number 11, the man behind the man, a field of 10. Favorites included three, Zap Daddy, and, and five, wow. Cool and Rock. From the center, seven gems away very smoothly and establishes a length advantage already over C Major and Moji, who are away second and third. Caloric's on the outside and from between horses and trying to move over a touch is Zap Daddy. He's only four lengths behind. At the rail goes Morocco. He's about five lengths off the lead. Very wide on that first turn was, hey, big guy. Major attitude is keyed up and now reigned back to second last and at the inside Seattle Treasure. So around the first turn they go and look at seven gems, seven gems and John Velasquez with his neck bowed in front by a length. C Major is there second, Moji is now third, Caloric is fourth, Zap Daddy is fifth, Wide Wild sixth is Hey Big Guy. Morocco is at the inside seventh, followed eighth by Cool and Rock, ninth is Seattle Treasure and tenth and last is Major Attitude. Opening quarter quite controlled, 24 and three, five furlongs from home. Seven gems still tugging in front three parts of a length. C Major is second. Up on the outside, and hey, big guy, been very wide the whole way. Moji is at the rail. Caloric between horses, getting started is Cool and Rock. He'll have to go four or five deep, but he's on a mid-race attack as they round the far turn. Pace starts to quicken through a 50 and two half mile. Seven Gems now asked to do some work from between horses. C Major, three wide, and Cool and Rock committed for home now. Trying to run home from fourth is Moji, then hey, big guy. Zap Daddy is next outside of Caloric from the back in Morocco, and the wrap the top of the stretch. Here's Coolin Rock up on the outside of C Major and these two kick on. Coolin Rock on the outside. C Major with something in the tank on the inside and Luis Saez and C Major still ahead in front. Coolin Rock trying to get by. C Major, Coolin Rock. C Major, Coolin Rock. C Major! C Major turned away Coolin Rock the entire stretch run in 142 and 4. Chucky Luis Saez is really second to none. He's just in another class when he's riding in South Florida. So good on number seven C major in today's eighth race. But this son of Shanghai Bobby deserves a large amount of that credit. He fought on every step of the stretch drive and turned away the challenge from Cool and Rock to register the victory for Luis Saez and Todd Fletcher and the breeders and owners of the Siena Farm. We move to the ninth race of the afternoon, one mile over the turf, allowance optional claiming horses to start the late pick three. Scratch the seven and the alternates, 13 through 16. A field of 11, the favorite was the 11, and Fierce and Scarlet. Left. Toward the inside, Antati is being sent along to try to get some forward position. Moving out the rail, Scats Rose away in the top flight. Up on the outside, it's my lucky charm looking to get over. And it's my lucky charm puts a neck on top. In tight in the process with Scats Rose as Aunt Hattie was also in a bit tight. She's reined back to run fourth. From the far outside gate, that's run for peace as Aunt Hattie's still not settled. She's three wide and very, very keen. Saving ground at the inside is Speedy Solution with Stormy D between horses. Out three wide on the course goes 
Zababa. Then it's back to Samoa. She's about five lengths behind. But big favorite is settled nicely. Fierce Scarlet is third last. Second last is Solar Kitten. And the trailer is Secret Czar. Down the back stretch they go. 24 seconds for a quarter speed. On the inside, that's It's My Lucky Charm. On the outside and run for peace. Their heads apart. Racing from third while still a bit headstrong is Zontati. In between horses is uh, Scathrose. And at the inside, Speedy Solution. They're only a length and a half off the leader. Racing wide on the course is Stormy D, widest of all in Zababa. Zababa is about five or six deep. The favorite is still creeping closer. Fierce Scarlet's not been asked for a thing yet. Now starts to get the green light by Arad Ortiz Jr. to launch an attack while kick starting five wide through a 49 second half mile. They run to the top of the stretch with the advantage. It's my lucky charm. Oh, Taddy! Up on the outside is now second. The rail just open for Speedy Solution. She finds her best stride with the outside running favorite and Fierce Scarlet from fourth. Eighth of a mile to go. It's my lucky charm still there. Aunt Hattie can't get to her. Speedy Solution ducks to the inside. Coming to the finish, It's My Lucky Charm is hanging on to it. It's My Lucky Charm saved by the wire as Fierce Scarlet was second and Speedy Solution third. Number 10, It's My Lucky Charm ran dead last in her career debut back in April here at Gulfstream Park, but she's not been worse than second since then. She gets three in a row here this afternoon, four out of her last six races, under jockey Paco Lopez, holding on for the score for Eddie Plisa Jr. and Lori Plisa. It was 11, Fierce Scarlet, who just missed while second, ahead of the two, Speedy Solution, who ran third. Back now for race number 10 on the program. First half of the late daily double. Claimers in for $16,000. Scratch the nine, Levy Land. A field of eight. The favorite was the eight. Royally cool. And they're off. Good start at the inside for both Star of Distinction and by golly, Miss Dolly. Far outside, Royally Cool. Three wide in Mertz. These four go four ahead of C.T. Voss. To her outside is Tong Shu. The two at the back, C.A.C. Shakira and I Like Archie. They speed down the back stretch and pass the half mile point. And it's the two favorites who hook up. Royally Cool to the outside of Mertz. And they fly. They've gone five ahead of Star of Distinction. C.T. Voss is going to have to reap the spoils off this fast pace if she wants to win it. She's now into third, about five lengths off the lead. Running in from the back as I like Archie with a uh, five sixteenths left to go. Mertz on the inside, Royally Cool on the outside. Three back. C.T. Voss is starting to gain ground at eight to one. She's now third. Back to fourth and star of distinction with a quarter of a mile left to go. With the advantage, Mertz, who puts away Royally Cool, who's now flat to the boards. C.T. Voss in the blue blinkers tries to take up the slack with I like Archie. Eighth of a mile to go. Mertz by five now. C.T. Voss is second. A late run from I like Archie down the stand side. Royally Cool has no more to offer. But Mertz is a winner. Mertz right back for the new connections and three on top. C.T. Voss was second. Up third was I Like Archie, then Royally Cool. And by golly, Miss Dolly, and 105 and two. away. From the center, Majestic Hero gets the first call and fires to a clear lead. Eric the Salesman on the outside with speed. From between that duo is Midnight Comedy, who's away in the top flight. Away racing in fourth is Zuliano, who's down toward the inside. Racing on his outside is Home Drill, mid-flight and about five lengths behind. Prolific runner, cooked the worst of it around that first turn. He's now three wide. Then it's back to the team of All-Star Siler and Two-Step Slew. The newcomer follows them. That's Am Prepared, ahead of in Gus We Trust, who's second last and two to the trailer sky's sun down the back stretch the oh the opening quarter sharp 22 and two and up front long shot eric the salesman in front by a length and a half 
Racing in second is Majestic Hero. Home drill at the inside is third. Zuliano is in and amongst rivals. Racing between horses now is All-Star Siler. And prepared starts to knife through horses. Up on the outside, Midnight Comedy is in that flight of runners as well. Losing ground at the inside in Gus We Trust. Barbie's King trying to get some place to work. And shuffled the last is Prolific Runner. Around the far turn they go. Eric the Salesman bidding to take down the Rainbow Six with a victory. He leads by two, but Home Drill taking up the slack second back to third that's majestic hero and prepared finds his best stride from fourth three sixteenths to go home drill takes a shot at eric the salesman majestic hero is third and prepared is fourth it's home drill who fires to the top late home drill and paco lopez moving clear and it's home drill for dave fox and paco lopez to win it by about three in the end majestic hero gets up for second eric the salesman third and am prepared ran home for fourth in 130 and three And that wraps up the Martin Luther Day card. We're dark for live racing on Tuesday, but don't forget, tomorrow, 1130, you can stream it on GulfstreamPark.com, the entries for the Pegasus World Cup and the Pegasus World Cup tape. We'll be back here on Wednesday with live racing. Don't forget to check out the drawer of the Pegasus World Cup. Good night and good luck. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. What do you say? Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Well, I'm tired. Let me tell you, Jack, I'm so tired.